Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Pillars of Eternity, The White March. As I was getting ready to leave, this messenger came up to me. Beg your pardon, I have a message for you. You are summoned to Haddock House, where Lady Webb wishes to meet with you as soon as possible. They say she's an ancient spider spinning her nets throughout the, the city. He gives you a careful look. If she wishes to see you, that either bodes very well or very ill. Where can I find Hadrick House? It's just over there, my lady, the southwest corner of Brackenberry. Tell me about Lady Webb. Do you not know Lady Webb? She's, well, no one's seen her exactly in a long time, but she's the mistress of Dungyad, Dungyad Row. She's been, has been for as long as anyone can remember. Is that the house we got into but we couldn't get upstairs? Yeah, I believe it is. He pauses, I and passerby with suspicion. Quietly, he continues, She's supposed to be old, older than anybody, and she never leaves a room. Some say she's wasted away and she's just a pile of bones, kept animated by dark magics. She's still not, she's still at it, she's still at it, best anyone can tell, learning things, keeping us safe, pulling the strings behind the throne, too. It said, it said, throwing, pulling the strings behind the throne, too, it said, has a ring of cyphers doing her bidding, telling her everything that goes on. You do wrong in this country before you go asking the gods for forgiveness. Best you ask Lady Webb first. Hmm. So what's done in row? A whole mess of cyphers run out of Hadrick House. They make it their business to keep the peace, but they don't like you to see them do it. Problem is the city ha the problem in this city have a way Problems in this city have a way of going away on their own, and when that happens, you can make a pretty good guess as to why. Hmm. How did you know where to find me? Well, it's it's Lady Webb. She knows everything. Very well. So I have to go to the palace, and I have to go to Lady Webb. But I also was on my way out because I have a matter at my own estate I have to take care of. So that's where I'm going. All right, so my bailey has been constructed. I just got to notice that it was um, constructed. Bailey constructed, com construction completed. Um, so I have a drunken waiting for me. So what do I need to get done now? Okay, so towers, the towers of Cadnu. Then high of the walls. Upgrading towers will grant a perception bonus when resting. South wall. The library. The barracks. That's completed. Dungeons. Merchant stalls. That's completed. The craft halls completed. Where was the merchants at? Oh, it's in your great. It's in the great hall. Oh, okay. I didn't go there. Well, let's do the curio shop then. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, so it's in the Great Hall. I I was looking at the craft hall, so I'll have to go look and see what they have for sale. Yeah. After I talk to um this dingle butt, this drunkard, who wants me to pay his debts because he's a drunk. I'm pretty sure I'm going to say no, and he's got a hell of a good excuse. Okay, that's one of our mages that we have. Something you want? No? Uh, hey, I just need a second of your time. He's already drunk. Are we feeding him? Are we giving him booze? Hmm? So where's my craft hall at? That's the library. That's the treasury. That's the barracks. Well, I thought I was supposed to have a, something here in the great hall. Unless it's upstairs? Library hasn't been fixed yet. Hello, uh, greetings, Lady Corinne. I mean, I was hoping to talk to you. I'm in a spot of trouble. The man's breast smells of ill. Very well, let's hear it. You come, you call your allies together in motion for the petitioner to step forward. Thing 
is, I've worked at a few debts in Dareford and a few other places, more than a few. Well, hmm. I haven't got the coin, my lady. I'd pay it off if I could. Well, why don't you then? I was thinking, maybe you know of someone looking to hire on or something. I'm willing to work. Why would I trouble myself with these shipless vacabod? You're wasting my time. I know a way you can pay off your debt. I never did learn much of a trade. What did you have in mind? He fidgets nervously. Oh, I'll talk to Bella Siege in the Brackenberry Sanitarium. You can help her with with uh, her research. Uh, like in Teshimin? Suppose that ought to pay well at least, right? He bows awkwardly. Thank you. I'll head out there as soon as I can. Hmm, okay. So, with your coin in hand, I don't, I don't get what this is. Makes a beeline for the nearest port. How about anything else? Um, people are starting to notice your hard work. I dare say we'll have more visitors shortly. I'm glad you decided to stay on, lady. It's been difficult watching the place tumble into decay time and again. I see it restored. To see it restored is, I can imagine the great crowds, the petitioners, music perhaps in the evenings. Oh, I've gotten carried away, haven't I? Here. Here's the report. Yeah, okay. So where is this? Um, Good day. Oh, here it is. Here's the merchant. Greetings, my lady. Fancy a new blade? Maybe an axe. I plenty here to take the fancy of any woman of action, or perhaps some ingredients and spices for the road. Two oils and tinctures for the ailing man, too. Want to have a look? Sure. Show me your wares. I can never... Oh, I can buy camping supplies here now. I couldn't in the other one. Hmm. Okay. Cool. So this is where I need to come, really, for everything and not. The craft hall one has some amazing weapons and stuff, but they're very expensive. <clears throat> um, let's just get rid of some of this stuff on here. Um, he uses a spear. I think his spear is better. What is those? Fine sword. Exceptional pike. What about the small shield? I don't know. Why do I have it? Um. Helms. I don't think you have a helm, come to think of it. Or, yeah, I should be giving you some of that stuff. Let's look. <clears throat> Let's look at your stuff here, little man. You don't have a cloak. Uh, that's nine wheel. Deflection is nice. Minor coat of. Let's do the deflection one for you. And you don't have a helm. Do you want a helm or do you want defense against spells? That might not be bad. Poison effect. Let's give you the defense against spells. Oh, I just gave you the cloak. That's right. I can't. You can't have one or the other. The, the helm. We'll give you the helm. There you go, little man. You got wings on your head. Mm-hmm. Um. Seventy twenty-five. But I don't think you use. Well, it's one-handed. Do you use a mace? Hmm. Q. 
can you use a mace? I thought it was two-handed. Speed, average, interrupt. Um, it gives more damage. It gives crush damage. Um, percent accuracy when attacking some target as an ally. Ac accuracy when attacking same target as an ally. Triple damage when attacking same target as an ally. Damaging. I like that. I think we're gonna give you this raven wing. We're gonna give you this raven wing. It's gonna be huge. Ooh, not actually. The thing about the spear is you can attack from a distance, right? Hmm. I don't think it's gonna make any difference. We'll see. My little man. Okay, so we got rid of that. Do you have anything over here in this trunk now? This this is where I was storing stuff. Yeah, this is where I was storing stuff. Which is where I probably should be storing my main stuff. Took it, Hakka mine. Okay. Well met, friend. What did it, did it all go in anywhere? Yeah, it did. Oh, I did. Um. Okay. I think I did that wrong. Did oh, I took it all, didn't I? Okay. What did I do? I don't know what I did. But anyway, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, my library hasn't been restored yet. Oh, I wanted to go look at the barracks. Because that has been restored. That's why I can hire people. My barracks is upstairs. I thought that's where we slept. No, the Yep. These are our people. Okay. Yep, these are the ones I don't taken with me. And the other ones I hired. So we need to go back. I'm gonna pause. Okay, so I was getting close to the house. This older robed man showed up. As you near the apparition, you are overcome suddenly by a powerful anxiety that sits like a stone in your stomach. The feeling is not quite real. The recollection, the recollection, the recollection of an emotion rather than the emotion itself, the recollection, whatever. Um, it wrenches your insides, nevertheless. The apparition's brow is tensed, a look of concern playing across its face. I guess we're getting noticed. The, the other missionaries say you have been neglectful of your duties. Missionaries. My mind has been elsewhere. They lie. The they speak out of concern for you. Now tell me, is there something to their concerns? The pain in your stomach deepens and you feel for a moment as though you are about to be sick. Your mouth has gone dry. Forgive me, Eminence. I wish to leave the order. The man folds his fingers together and presses them to, it, to his mouth. Thoughtful. You have been an apt student, and your convictions have inspired those around you. May I ask what has changed to make you feel this way? The people we intended to convert, they committed unspeakable acts, sacrifices, mutilations. My family was not taken 
has not taken my new face well. They no longer speak to me. I've done not something unforgivable. We were attacked on my last mission. The people we intended to convert, they committed unspeakable acts, sacrifices, mutilations. The apparition excels slowly and its lips pressed together, a sympathetic report in his eyes. It places its hand on your shoulder. These are the ways of the heathen world. Surely the gods would do better to destroy us all and start anew. <laughs> Perhaps they would. It may come to that one day. This is why we must not fail. The heathens are beyond the gods' reach. They do not know better. We are tasked with delivering them to the gods so that the gods may heal their souls. Is such a thing possible? I have seen it with my own eyes. You will see it too, if you choose to remain. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. There is no greater calling than the one we have chosen. Neither words, nor wealth, nor battle will end this suffering. Only the gods. Will you give them that chance? The knot in your stomach seems to loosen all at once, and the anxiety is replaced with something else entirely, something warm and soothing, and it is something you know you can never repay. As the vision fades, you start to become cognizant of the many odd looks aimed in your direction. Your last response echoes in your mind. I will. So I don't think I really have any choice in the matter. I was going to remain regardless, I think. Hmm. Okay, so I'm at Lady Something's house. Lady Webb. We've been here before. Okay, where is her room at? Oh, it opened on her own. Lady Webb will see you now. Okay. I'm on the trail. This is the room that I tried to break into. Stealing. This is what? Darien Dialects. I think I have this one already. This won't stop me for long. Uh, one. Yeah, I'll do it. There! Done! Oh, it's just a spear. To Pike, I'm sorry. Well, let's talk to you. This woman clutches a thick stack of parchment. She's supposed to be really old. Um, with spindly, wrinkled fingers, their flesh stretched thin to near translucent, loosens with extreme age and gossamer veil over pale blue veins. The splotches and candle, the splotches and candle burns. Okay. This woman clutches a thick stack of parchment with spindly, wrinkled fingers, their flesh shredded stretched thin to near translucence with extreme age a gossamer veil over pale blue veins ink splotches and candle burns dot and strip her hands stripe her hands like a quilt patterned after some great indescribable truth she does not look up from her reading so the messenger conveyed my summons a miracle that would make the reincarnation of Aethys look like a child's cantrip, surely. It doesn't draw the most inspired minds, messaging. They failed me so many times of late, I nearly sent a cipher after you instead. So this is the Watcher who took over Cad Noir. Oh, don't look so surprised. It isn't an attractive expression. I wouldn't be where I am for long if I let details like that escape me. Okay. This is exactly what I would picture a lost mother to be like. <laughs> oh, you're probably very right. And this fiasco in the sanitarium that you seem to have gotten yourself into the middle of. What in blazes possessed you to stir that nest of trouble? I'm investigating a strange group. 
Hmm. Well, what's it any concern of yours, um, old lady? So this invite only happens after you do the sanitarium one. Um, I'm investigating a strange group. Strange does not begin to describe them. The practices of the Leaden Key defy all reason. So she knows about them. You're not the only one with an interest in their recent activities. I've lost four ciphers this year alone trying to get someone inside their ranks. As it is, we only have our suspicions about who is in the group and what they intend. Which I suppose means we have much in common with them. I asked you here because I wanted to know what your interest was in all of this. I thought perhaps we might help each other. Why are you looking for the Leaden Key? One of their members caused my soul to awaken. I need him to reverse it. I ran across a man in one of the ruins. It's important that I find him again. I was hired to investigate them. Yeah, one of their members caused my soul to awaken. She closes her eyes and the lids flicker. Then her face goes still and her mouth parts a little more than a sliver and her hand briefly drops open, spilling some of her parchment to the ground, the page waving around her legs like the leaves of a dying tree. Her fleshy eyelids peel back and her gaze is immediately upon you. The gods are cruel, I'm afraid. The man you seek is Theos Ix Arcanon, Grand Master of the Leaden Key. One of the most elusive and dangerous men Aeora has ever known. How do you know I seek him? Because you have seen his face, and that makes it a simple matter for me to see it. You even happened to catch him in a ceremonial garb, it seems. It must have been a special occasion. What else can you tell me about him? More than most, though very few would know so much as his name. And there is no way of knowing how much of what I've read is true. The Leaden Key dates back more than 2,000 years. If rumors are to be believed, Theos was the one who created it. Wow, he's old then. What scraps of evidence exist? Suggests that he has died many times, only to be reborn each time, exactly the same man. Hmm. Awakened during adolescence, with all the knowledge and experience of all his lifetimes. The plots he orchestrates sometimes take hundreds of years to bear fruit. Needless to say, this is not the natural order of things. But he is said to be one of Whittaker's favored, and that old bat was never one to let rules get in the way of favoritism. Hmm. So every time he's reborn, he's reborn exactly the same. That may also explain another supposed gift of his. His body is no boundary to his soul, and he is known to take possession of others, if their souls are weak enough. Often it is for elaborate deceptions, but sometimes he simply forces them to kill themselves. He is not known for his generous supply of pity. No, after what I saw him do, he's not. He is also not one to show himself in any but their most critical matters. If he has directly involved himself in whatever the group plots now, it may be your only chance to find him. And once you do find him, if you can find him, I would not hold my hopes too high if I were you. He is a driven, single-minded man. He will not have the slightest concern for your problems. How do you know so much about him? The same way I come by all my knowledge. Exhaustive research, spying, bribery, perhaps some less savory measures. Whatever the knowledge demands, I pay in full. There is nothing of greater value. Unfortunately, with Theos, there is also nothing more scarce. He has covered his tracks far too well. His manipulations of the course of history are lost to time now, though I believe they were many. Well, if he can keep coming back over and over, I'm sure...
What else is there to know about the leaden key? Precious little, I'm afraid. You may know much of it already. No one member knows the identity of more than a handful of other members. They are kept in the dark of missions they are not involved in, or sometimes of those they are involved in. They exist to hide secrets they themselves don't know. If you can imagine how gullible someone must be for that to appeal. Yeah, people are really gullible because it happens in our society. Despite that, they are very good at what they do, owing much to their founder, who will take matters into his own hands when necessary. And he does not fail. So what do you want from me? Keep me informed. The Leaden Key has been busy lately, and that is distressing news. I can only guess as to what they intend. You seem to have a knack for turning the stones they've crawled beneath. Keep turning them. Dunreed Row will not stop you. Whatever it is they're up to, figuring it out will be of great use to both of us. In your case, it will surely point you to Theos. In return, I will share our knowledge with you as we learn it. And provide you with what assistance I can. And what if I refuse? Hmm, no, I'm gonna need assistance. Very well. If you find your trail has run cold, come to me with whatever you have. There is much I may be able to do for you. There is something I can tell you about the Lend Key operations. Well, let's hear it. I found Theos in Brackenberry Sanitarium impersonating a patient. He was trying to damage the public's opinion of animancy. Forgive me, it is unlike Theos to leave witnesses. He must be furious. He did not aid you as you'd hoped, I take it? Well, take heart. With any luck, when he has finished his business, he will surely come and find you again. If only to kill you while you sleep. I'm sure. This news of yours makes sense, of course. To dabble in animancy is to puzzle over the secrets of the gods. This would not be the Leaden Key's first action against it. But if this is connected to their other activities, we may be in for something on a much larger scale. I'm sure they're behind what happened to Heredia Chill, too. If we can learn more about their goals and methods, perhaps we can get the palace behind us. With Avar's support, we may be able to put a stop to this. That's all. This progress is encouraging. I hope that we are not too late. I have other questions. Do I? Yes. Uh, tell me more about Drimmon Roll. All the things there are to know in this world, and you ask me about work. Deerwood is a rebel country. Conflict is in its blood. If you think a few guards posted in our cities keep chaos at bay, you are very new to town indeed. I am. We are Deerwood cipher investigators, of course. But what we really are is its last barrier against anarchy. People are more at ease when they believe they are watched over by someone more enlightened than they are. It pacifies them. So that is the image we foster. That is very true. And we do try to be enlightened for their sake. The knowledge we gather here is Deerwood's standing army in many ways. We learn what's vital and we act on it while Deerwood sleeps blissfully unaware of the terrifying truths all around them. I wish I could tell people the things I know sometimes, but the truth is I don't think many of them could bear it. Or believe it. They would totally not believe it. Our society is that way all the time. How did you come to be here? Me? I started this place in a different time under a different duke. I impressed the Duke with my research and my work ethic, and he became possessed of the notion that I would be ideal to lead a secret network of gifted investigators. I don't know how such an idea got into his head. She winks. Yeah. How old are you? 
She gives a half-hearted gasp and covers her mouth with her fingers. You wicked woman, where are your manners? Were you raised without a shred of decency? I lost count ages ago. Such a strange thing to celebrate, getting closer to death. True. Oh, I've had my share of work done to prolong my existence, if that's what you're wondering. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not done here. There are things I still wish to learn. And I'll be the effigy if I let Bereth carry me off before I'm through. <laughs> there was a time when I considered enlisting the theorems of Pondgrum to extend my life indefinitely. I found the thought of devouring my political enemies to sustain my own life greatly appealing. I must have gone soft with age. <laughs> um, are you psychic? If you are hoping I can look at your hand and tell you whom you should marry, you can just wipe that notion from your mind. I do not know what will happen tomorrow. That is what I pay spies for. Being a cipher is not unlike being a watcher. You notice more about what is already there. Okay. Many can hold an object and know where it's been, or peer into the thoughts of people around them. They can also sometimes affect those thoughts, but that would be unethical, of course. A tiny, talented few pick up so much about the world around them, they can get images of things to come, but these are fleeting and unreliable. You said you don't know what will happen now, tomorrow. Who said I was talented? I don't. Least not that I can trust. And with me, it's only ever about one thing anyway. And what's that? A quiet day at home. <laughs> she glances back behind her toward a small table and a queer smile finds her way across her face. Um, is there a Lord Webb? There was. What happened to him? He believed in dying with dignity. He was old-fashioned that way, my husband. We saw the world very differently, he and I. But he was good to me while he lasted. Okay. Um, I think I don't yes. have other questions. No, nope. very well. Try your best not to die out there. I will. All right. The Hermit of Had 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 Rit House. Um. Okay. After having run across Dale's and Mirrors Island, no, 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 they seem to be trying to destroy the. Reputation of Animancers. Okay, so I also have to go to the Duke's Palace. Um, as I had been summoned there also. I also need to go to... Is the Duke Palace here, I believe? No, the Duke Palace, is. where is that at? This is the one that's the thieves. But I called it there too. Um I thought I was. I thought I was. Um That's the endless pass, the long hunt. At all costs, that's, I have to go to Audra's guilt for that. Cinders of Faith, that's a cave. Winds of Steel. True to form. <clears throat> it called a court, that's what it, it called a court. That's in First Fires. Missing sentries, find the missing guards. That's at the Heritage Hill. <clears throat> Blade of the Endless Pass. Okay. So, the Call to Court, that is in First Fires, but I also need to go to... Um... Where was that one? The, um, no, I just got it. The trials at all costs in Audra's guilt. 
Andra's whatever. The so first fires is up here. Yep, and Andra's is right. No, it's right. Here. No. I thought it was. Oh, maybe it's not. This is okay. No. Um. So I have to go to first fire. Okay, I have to go here first. Make sure I'm in the right area. We are up here. So from here, I can go over to... I can go directly over here. Okay, here we go. And he is in, that's right, he's in the trading area. He is in the trading post, which is right here. All right. Lots of wandering around in this game, lots of wandering around. But they're all like that. You know, we never did run across that woman who had an argument, too, and I thought she was going to be our, one of our party members. He's in here somewhere. Where are you at? There we are, him. I have to make up my mind whether I want to kill him or not. Let me see what he says. Welcome. Were you able to deliver the package? Yes, but now the Dominils want you dead. You'd better explain why you sent me into a trap and fast. If you told me the Dominils were after you, you could have saved us both a lot of trouble. How can I trust you after the way you manipulated me? You didn't tell me that things would get messy. I charge extra for that. Yeah, you sent me into a trap. The Dominils were there. Bizano's eyes fly open and he tugs at his beard. I was so careful, always following the... The Berlizzi? They couldn't have known. Okay. Well, well. Is this your last day among the living, Verzano? Oh, this is the woman, yeah. Bizana wrings his hand. Your timing is impeccable. Tell uh, Pelinga, the Dominils are after me. Please, you've got to stop them. As if any of this were ever in my hands. The Republic's considered your business worth protecting based on its success. That success depended on cooperation with the locals, like House Dominel. You've lost that. And the favor of the Dukes. What's the meaning of this? Stay, stay out of this. I have business to conclude. Well, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be diplomatic and do not interrupt. Even if you get out of this alive, they are done with you. The Dukes have more pressing interest in Defiance Bay than rescuing one merchant who threw himself overboard. He falls to his knees and clasps his hands together. Have mercy, Pelagon. I don't stand a chance against the Dominils, whatever. He bites a trembling lip. I brought failure and shame on myself, but you can't mean to watch your company, your countrymen, die like a dog. Vezzano, Vezzano. Why are you wasting your precious breath on me? My orders come through the ambassador, and through the ambassador from people you should be honored ever gave a moment's thought to whether you live or die. You don't seem like the sort to petition the gods to keep him out of hell. So why not cry mercy to the one person in this room with the power to grant it? She turns her attention to you and raises her featured, feathered eyebrows expectantly. It's not the Dominil he needs to be worried about. You're on your own. I'm leaving after you pay me what I'm owed. Hmm. 
Well, if I if I kill him, I will then have be on the syndicate's side through good graces, and maybe they'll have things for me to do. Um, because I cut off my ties with the expeditions with the dozens. So if I stick with the, the criminals, the syndicate, as you will, maybe I can also find out more stuff that's going on with um, the lead and key. Hmm. <laughs> And I also have to defend myself as a noble for to keep the keep. To be able to keep my keep. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not them they need to worry worried about. Do as you will. He's no longer my concern. Okay. What is this? <clears throat> Dama saunters through the door, flanked by a squad of Damanese foot soldiers. She lets her gloved hand rest on the hilt of her weapon. She nods approvingly. you. Had a change of heart, have we? Don't let me interrupt. She looks at Benzena and traces a line across the throat. House moderate positive. Okay. So I've got all these people I have to fight now. Well, you know you're going after this one. You are going after here. You're going to shoot this one. You are going to go after him. You go after this one. And you put fire on that one. I'm <laughs> Okay, where am I at? Girl, come on over here. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. How's Dominil? Could always use friends like you, you know. Next time you find yourself in Brackenberry, talk to my brother, Aberkin. He should have a job or two. She whistles to her guards and they follow her out of the warehouse. Okay. Stronghold actions. Near the death hand, with your coin in hand, near the death hand makes a beeline. Ring finger rewards 25 experience. Um, ring finger, 25 experience. Nathan's ring. And treasure sign. Then you after that. Okay. Do we get any good stuff? Forgiveness. Unique pistol, two handed. We don't have them with us, but um, yeah, we'll have to keep that. Will do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for helping, by the way. Saber. So, I think... I think that's completed. Yeah, that one's completed. So I still need to go to the first fires. There's 
stuff here that I didn't take before? There is. I will now take everything that I can. Now when I did, because there was nothing here. here. Nope. I think this one had two doors in and out. Oh, come on. I want it. Here we go. Yeah, this one had two doors going in and out. They're not going to find me, are they? Okay. Oop, that's not what I needed. So first fire, that's heritage. First fire is over here. So I'll probably... Okay, Brackenberry is where I can go talk to where I was just at. So after I talk to the Duke, let's go there. You must gather your party oh, before on. venturing forth. Hurry up, girl, hurry up. First fire. Makes sense, that's in the middle. So this is where I have to... Um... So, Alof, have you ever woken up to find your other half used your body during the night? I don't think I understand you. And I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> well, I've found that if I go to sleep hungry enough, I wake up covered in blood and delightfully full. Okay. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> that was a little, little weird. <clears throat> So let us go in and see what we have to do to prove our right to own Cod Nua. Call the court. Um, speak with Chancellor Worm at the Hall of Records inside the palace. When you at the Hall of Records inside the Ducal Palace. Hall of Records. Is this the Hall of Records? That's the shrine. That's the Hall of Records. Yep, I know we've been here before. we could get in here before. I don't think so anyway. No, we couldn't. I don't think. But though we... Maybe we did. I remember seeing this one before. I believe you have business with Chancellor. Am I looking at the wrong one? Which one is the Chancellor? Him? There we go. Thank you for coming, Corinne. I've been trying to track you down for some time. This is Marshal Forwin, Earl Badman's military advisor. He will serve as witness for this proceeding. He gestures at the man next to him. Well met, World Warden. Your reputation precedes you. I admit you've created a bit of stir throughout the nobility with your reclamation of Cod Nua. Most are still not sure what to think of you. What's this about? The legitimacy of your claim to Kanua is in question. Earl Bottomar has issued a ruling on the matter. I trust the Earl to make a fair judgment. Kanua was abandoned for over a century, and I've claimed the land through strength of arms. My claim is legitimate. Kanua is mine. Any who challenge my claim will face my wrath. No, no, I, I claimed it through strength of arms. If there were no other claimant, you would be correct. Unfortunately, this is not the case. It's, it laid dormant for a thousand years and no one wanted it because they were scared of it. All will be made clear once Lord Gavin arrives. Do you have any questions for me while we wait? Hmm, 
so tell me about Earl Bad Badmer. Earl Badmar comes from an esteemed line of, d d d line of lords that rose to prominence after the War of Defiance some 150 years ago. The deer... Oops, one moment. The deer would consist of seven earldoms. The Badamans govern the northern ear earldom known as the, gra the Grasp. The Grasp. As to the current Badamar, he is a fine... He is... As fine a man as I know, it is an honor to serve him. So tell me more about the grasp. The grasp is now the largest of the seven eld earldoms after it consumed the pre-war earldom of Yenwood. Yenwood, ah, we saw the statue down in the down in the pass. It encompasses notable settlements and as new harem. Grinner's Grass, the Gilded Bell, and of course, Canua. Yenwood. When the Direwood was a mere colony of Adira, it was divided into nine earldoms. When the Adirians were defeated and ultimately driven out, two of the earldoms were absorbed and borders were adjusted. The Yenwood was one such earldom. Hmm. What do you know of, yeah, whatever his name is? While I've met him but once, it was ample time to determine the character of Lord whatever, or lack thereof. He is descended from an old Adarian line that predates the War of Defiance. His great-grandfather was the Earl of Yenwood during the war, that is, until he was stripped of his lands and driven from the, from the Deerwood. Do you know which way Earl Badamar has ruled? I'm true. I'm sorry, my lord. I do not. The Earl's decree is sealed. And what was the, what was that about? Road war, Road Warden, the one who rules Catanua on behalf of the Earl of Yenwood, is traditionally known as the Road Warden. Road Warden. Your position might not be entirely official yet, but the title is an appropriate form of address. The marshal nods and smiles. In fact, that blade you carry was forged by the very first road warden. He gestures at the sword at your side. I've heard that the whispers of Yenwood is only ever found by those meant to rule Catanua. Hmm. Your timing is impeccable. Here comes Lord now. So, you going to say yes or no? You know you're going to say no. Okay. An opulently, op opulent, an opulently dressed man strides towards the Chancellor, his sandy hair trailing him like a banner caught in a light breeze, boot heels echoing throughout the hall. An elven woman with cropped hair, dressed in black, glinting male shadows his steps before taking position alongside him. Her, I assume. She watches you unabashedly, taking your measure. Let's move past this formality as quickly as possible. I have other matters to attend to. It's well known the Kanua belongs to me by right. And where is this pretender? She who murdered the Radricks, my own sister and her husband, and steals my land? Where is this low-born wench? So... Rad Radic was... His wife was your sister, hmm? Worm clears his throat and glances at you. This woman here? This is the Lady Catanua? I thought she was just another servant, perhaps a ballet or a scullery maid. Hmm. Everyone who owns their own keep, raise a hand. Go on, don't be shy. Yeah. Imbecile, I hope you've enjoyed your time squatting on my land. Provoke me further and I'll hang you from the highest wall of Catanua when our business is finished. Chancellor, read the Earl's Decree. Worm breeze breaks the seal on the scroll and unfurls it. Regarding the matter of the claim on Catanua, Earl Badamar finds that the Gablin claim was never relinquished. By law, Catanua is the rightful property of the Gablin family. I knew it. He smirks at you triumphantly. I'm not yet finished reading, my lord. 
He rolls his eyes and motions for the Chancellor to continue. However, the Earl recognizes Corinne's part in reclaiming Catanua, a site that has stood abandoned and even some would say cursed for over a century. Before Catanua is returned to the Gavin family, the Earl has dec decreed that Lord Gavin will provide compensation in the form of... Absolutely not! He folds his arms, a defiant scowl on his face. My lord? Warren raises his eyebrows. The amount is quite reasonable and a requirement for your land to be returned to you if you'll just allow me to finish. I'll not pay a single copper to this miscreant for my ancestral land. Do you think I'm blind to the Earl's motives, Lackey? He thinks he can send a message with this insult. I have a message you can send that son of a whore. <laughs> he raises an open hand as the Chancellor shrinks from him, arms raised in, in defense. Yeah, I'll just grab his arm. Keep your hands off me, you, you peasant. He yanks his arm free of your hand and steps back. The elven woman deftly draws a pistol from her thick leather belt. Her eyes widen in anticipation. Milady, milady, please. There's no need for further violence. Lord Gavlin holds your gaze for several heartbeats, his eyes burning with hatred. I'll be coming for what's mine. Count on it. Come, Captain. Emery, we're leaving. He sneers defiantly before storming down the hall. The captain lowers her pistol and gives a smirking shrug before following her employer. Okay. The Chancellor. Well, I can't say that Gavin's reaction was entirely unexpected. Don't do no fault of your own. I'm afraid you've made a powerful enemy. Hmm. He did, he did seem a little upset, didn't he? I've heard he's always been vicious even as a boy, and he can hold a grudge for a very long time. In any case, Cadnua now officially belongs to you since Lord Gavin has rejected the Earl's decree. He hands you a deep blue scepter which looks to have been carved entirely out of sapphire. Here, this belonged to, to one of the old lords of Cadnua. By right, it's yours now. Is this scepter the one that fits inside that... Um... That, um, what am I trying to think of? Sundial that we found? Hmm. Leave the, leave, have, have this sent to Lord Gavin as a token of friendship. Tell Gavin if I catch him on any, him or any of his people on my land, they'll be executed. Please extend an invitation to Lord Gavin to feast with me within the halls of Ganua. There's no need for us to be enemies. Yeah, I'll do the clever thing. That is a generous offer, and I'll make sure it, it reaches him. It was a pleasure to finally meet you, milady. Warren bows. Perhaps we'll speak again under more pleasant circumstances. Farewell, Corinne. The marshal nods at you and leaves. Okay. So. Lord Gavin requests rejected the Earl of Yendon's decree, and Kanua remains in my possession. Something tells me that Lord Gavin is not done with me yet. I should remain on my guard. Of course. Yep. Of course. Of course. Uh, taxes? Did I have taxes again? Uh, my security up. My upgrades are. I have five hirelings and 20 upgrades. I don't understand what this is about. I mean, I gave him the money a while ago. Do we have anything? No. I could hire more people, I suppose. Do I have any more? Is that still waiting to be done? Nope, still waiting to be done. 20 more, 21 more hours. So, am I done here? Am I done in Defiance Bay for now? If so, oh, I need to go talk to, I need to go to Brackenberry and talk to the Dumbo, whatever things. Um, uh, 
that's copper lane that's brackenberry here we go i need to see if the we have any quests for me <laughs> from the brother excuse me all right so we were at house doom whatever the hell their name is <clears throat> I'm horrible with names. Horrible with names. Okay, so. Uh, Gods keep you. What business do you have with the Dominils? Um, I'm just here to loot the place now. Thelma sent me. Ah, oh, yes. You must be Corinne. Right this way, please. Whatever crimes they committed, their interior decoration is impeccable. Isn't it? Isn't it, though? Uh, a young man leans against an expensive looking gal gal's cabinet. He holds a jewel studded goblet in one hand and an ornate pistol in the other. He grins with white stained wine stained teeth. My sister Lips. has spoken highly of you. No small praise coming from her. We could use someone like you. I didn't realize that was him. Um, Thomas said you might have... Um, what is this place? You are standing in the Dominil Ancestral Manor. You're either very lost or wasting my time. He takes another sip of his wine. If there's nothing else, be on your way. Thomas said you might have work for me. As it happens, I do have a matter that needs resolving. I recently learned of a rather lucrative opportunity, unfortunately. I entrusted it to the wrong people. Let's hope you're the right sort, yes? One of my men planned a heist, and he's passed the instructions to the thieves using my personal letterhead. His face freezes in his scowl, bearing my initials. He breaks into a smile again, but his grip has tightened around his pistol. I need the letter. The thieves are holed up in a house in Copper Lane. Copper Lane. Oh, I know where that's at. Copper Lane. Fetch the missive, and we'll see what finding you a place and we'll see about finding you a place in House Demonil. I have questions about the letter you want me to find. Aberignons, make them quick. Or can I find these thieves? As I said, they were in Copper Lane. Their house is on the east end near the Expedition Hall. He waves a hand, heavy with rings. Just follow the stink of unwashed adventurers and the weeping of ruined ex specula speculators. Yeah, I know where it's at. Why haven't you already tasked one of your men to take care of this? Color rises in his face. I just needed someone external to the situation. Didn't want Daddy to find out about your little slip-up, did you? Sninga snaps her head over to you. You've got a very, you've got a real way with words, Corinne. Avernon chokes on his wine. What? He slams the goblet down and brandishes his pistol. Is this your idea of a joke? Yes, and it was a bad one. I'm sorry. <laughs> he picks up his goblin and holds it, his, holds it close to his chest. Indeed, he spills his wine and takes a long drink. What do you want me to do with the thieves? Leave them in peace, of course. They're still my men. And what were they stealing? He grins slyly. You take care of this job, and then perhaps I'll tell you. Okay, that's all I want to know. He takes another sip of wine. If there's nothing else to be, if there's nothing else, if there's nothing else, be on your way. Boy, you're snooty as I'll get out. Two-story job. Learn to be a plot to rob a black and Brackenberry nobleman, Lord Remont. In a letter that describes the plans. We didn't know anything about what he was robbing. We know Lord Remont. We've been to his house. He told me they have a hideout in Copper Lane. Hmm. Can I go upstairs? Can I go upstairs? I can. I have been here before already though. Okay. I assume. Pretty sure I have. Many pillows are fluffy and full with down. Whoever sleeps here must sleep soundly indeed. Oh, I haven't been Done. here because none of this was unlocked.
Yep, I hadn't been here. Okay. How do you get over here? Hmm. Um, uh, The woman must be well into middle age, but there isn't a line on her face. Her large green eyes are watchful behind a curtain of glossy black hair. She studies you. I can't believe you're, we've met. I don't believe we've met. I remember you. What do you do here? She looks you up and down. Let's just say I'm a merchant. I handle the trade of certain goods that my enterprising children and husband happen to cross. But I only trade with special friends, and if you want that kind of relationship, you're, you'd have to do a little something for me. What kind of favor did you have in mind? She crosses her arms and watches you out of the corner of her eyes. There's a certain someone who may or may not be named Cal Calfeg. He's insulted me. I'd like you to make an example out of him. Just what do you want me to do to him? I'll, I'd hate to stripe, well, I'd hate to... I'd hate to stifle your imagination. She wrinkles her nose with a quick smirk. Just see that you teach him a lesson that he won't soon forget. Um, if that's what it takes, then, then so be it. That's the spirit, she winks. I know the little runt holds up somewhere in Andra's guilt. Once you've taken care of him, come back to me. I've got some stocks that I reserve for special friends. Hmm. Okay. Where is he at? I don't know, live somewhere. I don't know if she told me I could handle him however I like. I just can't get out of this place! Is anyone else named that I didn't see? How do I get over here? I don't, there's not a door. Hmm. I don't know how we get over there. Unless there's a switch. Any closer and you'll see the color of your own insides. Oh, okay. There's, there's the door. Oh, I didn't mean for that to happen. Nope, nope, that's why I saved. I thought maybe that would happen. I'm not supposed to be up here yet. Okay, I get it. I get it, never Got mind, him. never mind. Ah, see, I made a mistake. Oh, and it's over an hour, so easy to lose track of time. So I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode, and when we come back, I am itching to get exploring. I'm itching to get out of this place, um, Defiance Bay. I There's places I need to go, quests I need to do, so I'm going to go do them. Um, that's not in Defiance Bay. So if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.